Hello there and welcome back to my blind LP of Doom 3 on the original Xbox. This, this is part 3 and it is absolutely tipping it down uh, down outside. It is really heavily raining. So if you, I've got unfortunately in this wooden shack there's like glass windows on top and it's very loud. So um but what perfect atmosphere to play some horror games. Oh it's Oh, and I'm I'm cozy. I've got a dressing gown on. I've got a cup of cold coffee that's gone cold now. It's um, it's brilliant. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm so glad I'm playing this. I gotta say, I gotta apologize for the last part for being a bit lackluster. I'm just really taken back about how this feels different. Um, I kind of oh. Marine. If you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Okay, uh, thirsty burst is fell over. That's sad. I'm just really taken back about how different. Oh, hello. How different this all is. There's someone coming. I hear it. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I got a problem with is that the guns just feel really lackluster. They kind of don't feel as beefy as I'm used to them feeling. Like the shotgun is just a, just not not the best. Um. It's, I mean, it, it's it, it's serviceable, but it doesn't feel. I feel like the if you. No. Nope. Psychological services are free and confidential. Okay, good. Good to know. Oh no, he spotted me. No, he hasn't. Let's go and shoot him, shall we? I feel like you've got to be really up close for this this shotgun to like be any any decent. Like the uh, cut off seems a little bit um. Just making sure there isn't anyone. Oh, I knew there's someone in there. See, like, like that, like, feel like it needs to do more damage. Just, I don't know. All right, is that something around here to go and get? See, I knew they'd put something in there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the shotgun. Let's um, let's let's um, get the machine gun out. I think. I love how the uh, the the total of how much machine gun ammo you've got. You gotta get the Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Well, I'll take Sending my bloody time. Is critical to our survival. Wow, see the machine gun feels pretty nice. Although the, I think the sound of it's a bit bit, bit rubbish. Now, this machine gun's great. All right, grab everything. Uh, hello. Is that like a PDF on the floor there? What's that? Why is someone playing the didgeridoo? Uh, two four eight seven seven six. And that might be a number I need to remember. So, yeah, this is like completely different. Like it's it's great. Oh, not sure if I want to go through there just yet. I'm going to head back just to check on the other door. Because there's like so many different pathways to go. Did I get... Have I, so have I been this way? Oh, this is going back to the beginning, isn't it? Okay. Hello. They're so cute. They're adorable. Right, so we're, so we're back at the beginning now. That we were here before. Uh, is that something in the corner to get? No, just lighting. Um, not that door. What's that say? Um, panel door error. Hangar base. We want to. Don't want to go that way. Okay, so there's nothing actually here to do. Just make sure there's no like secrets or anything. Like no secret PDAs. Nope. Ah, uh, no! Oh, I see. This guy's now following me. That's why I had to go there. This guy's now on my side. Oh, that's, that's neat. Cool. Right. Uh... I gotta say, this is just... This really looks... This looks great for Xbox. That thing is... That thing is mowing them down. That's really handy. Because it means I get to save some ammo. I think it just feels weird in a Doom game running out of ammo. You just kind of tend to usually don't. 
you tend to like have a nice surplus of it, like jumping around, shooting things. Um, invalid clearance. I need Duncan Matthews or ACO officers and administration. Uh, administration. Um, administration. Just make sure there's nothing around. There's, there's someone around here. Right. Oh, wow. So I didn't think that was thing was following me. Any more snacks? Hmm. Can we use the snack machine? Oh, we can't. Uh, just make sure there's nothing here to pick up. So this must be the mess canteen, like the canteen hall they were talking about. Some health there, but I don't really need it because I've got 99. What's this then? Um, Super Turbo Turkey Puncher. Can we not play that? That sounds fantastic. There's Mars out there. Oh, this is awesome! This is great. Right, open shutters. Um, click to close window seal. Oh, we can't shoot the glass then. Don't think I wanted to do that. I quite like the... Is that just there to be interactive? I don't actually know. We'll close them just in case we need to. Just in case something bursts through them. And I don't know what this all is. I don't know why there's little post-it notes there. Um, where do we want to go, mate? This way? Kind of lost now. This way? I think we might want to go this way. I actually don't know. No, this is the way. No, this is the way I came, isn't it? I'm just going to follow this thing. This thing knows what it's doing. I don't. Where are you going, champ? This way? Cool. Now through here. Go on. Lovely jubbly. Oh, this thing. This thing is a beast. Hey, leave my friend alone. Right. Oh, no, he stopped now. Oh, I really liked him. I'm going to name him Derek. That was Derek. Derek was a right champ. Right. Okay. I really could do with a nice can of thirst, thirsty burst. Right, we want to go through there. It looks like, or is this, or is this like for goodies, shells? Don't actually know. We'll follow it anyway. Maybe. Oh, I hear someone potting around. Oh no, where is he coming from? Where's that coming from? Oh, there it is. Got him. Good. Better reload when I've got the chance. There's gonna be an imp somewhere. I hear it. There he is. Hello. Alright. This machine gun. I like this machine gun, let me tell you. Right, so we've got another PDA. This machine gun's actually the best weapon so far. You'd think the shotgun would be, because the shotgun's usually the, like, fantastic, like, Duncan Matthews. But, um, no, the, um... Oh, thank thank goodness there's no audio logs. Farewell for now. Uh, if you've received this email, you're uh, someone I worked with while I on her Mars. Oh, it's that thing. Yeah, I read that one before. Uh, RE equipment request. We understand the pressures and concerns of civilians in Mars City. I want to assure you that there is nothing to worry about. We in UAC security have no, uh, have everything under control. <laughs> yeah. I have left the armory requested on your desk. I hope this helps you sleep a bit easier. Oh, that rain. Oh, this is perfect, this is. We will not be able to fulfill your request for a plasma gun at this time. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that civilians are not allowed the possession of weapons. If you ask again, I will have no choice but to report you to a UACHR. If you do happen to find equipment, it is your duty to return it to UAC security immediately. Sincerely, UAC security. Please. Um, Alright, here we go. Original message. Please uh, requisition to my department armor and one plasma gun with ammo. With all that has been happening around here, I don't feel safe. I haven't been able to sleep and it has been difficult to work. It would be easier if I could always just help myself to some of the armor I've have been I have I've seen security leave carelessly around the base. Who leaves armor shard? What is it even a bloody armor shard? How does that actually work for armor? 
Never got that. I get it in the I get it in the sense of like in like the the original Doom game because obviously it's like you know arcade action and uh, super fun. And I'm just gonna drop down here, just making sure there isn't anything down here. Double check before I go ahead. Don't think so. No, nope, that was a waste of time. But you gotta double check these things just in case. Okay, go. On. Uh, do, do. Oh, see, armor shard. I'm on top. Oh, right, I didn't pick them up. Um, I'm on full armor. That's good. Uh, well, that's locked. Oh, oh, right. I was supposed to go down there then. Oh, no. The, uh, oh, the music here really reminds... Oops. Oh, right, you get full damage. Brilliant. Okay. Whoops. Is that... Do I need to go through here? Oh, bugger. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, wasn't there a locked door near back here? I'm sure there was a locked door. I needed someone's security thing. Maybe I can use that now. Where was that at, then? That's the kitchen, not that way, then. Here it was. Yeah, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Of course. Uh, a clip, nice. There's the army he was talking about. Uh, might as well administer some health. Don't really need the armor, do I? I've got I've got full armor. Surprisingly, considering how bad I'm playing. Okay, right now I've got to find that, how the the way back now. This way, here we go. Oh right, if you hold down the the left trigger, you can run. That's handy. Cool, right. Press to exit. Oh, whoops. Press to exit Mara City. Um, I'll carry on playing because I haven't played that much yet. <sighs> well, this is fantastic. I mean, like, I, I can see why some people don't like it, but as a horror game connoisseur, as I like to say, um, I think this is actually quite quite top notch so far. Um, I think there might be too many audio logs. I think it breaks the pace of the game. I think that might be my only, um... You understand, oh. Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling the it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. You understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Oh, that was glowing green. What wonder what he's got in there then? The BFG, my perhaps? Oh hello. Oh, I love this machine gun. Can't go that way. Yeah, that door is definitely malfunctioning. It's on its side. Oh. oh. Yeah, um, it lagged there. Right then. Um, I think there's too many audio logs in this game. I think that might be. Th it, it just kind of breaks the pace very slightly. Um, just making sure there's nothing around there. No. Uh, there's an imp nearby. I hear it. Here it is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I kind of, and, and also the, the the corridor layout in this game is a little bit um. It I, it kind of feels weird because it's kind of hard to move around a little bit if you get me. Um, I'm kind of the the usual Doom maps in like you know. Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Holy <laughs> cow! Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Don't know why he's got webbed hands for. All right, let's put him out of his misery, shall we? There we go. Well, die. Sorry, did try to cheat a little bit. Oh, he's definitely dead. He's 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 got the physics. Felt like I need to put him out of his misery, so we got to go to Alpha Labs. Uh, but that's not where he wants to go. One of the Delta Labs, isn't it? Right. Um, let's just change back to the. Oh wow, got quite a bit of shotgun shells now. Right, okay, uh, Alpha Labs. Um, 
We need... Oh. Locate the PDA of William Banks for Alpha Labs clearance. Okay, cool. Let's find that then. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Now they're gonna. Now there's gonna be an imp nearby. They're gonna go boo. Yeah. 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 This shotgun's bloody awful. You need to really be up close for it to like do any any amount of damage. Um. Yeah, it just, it's kind of difficult to, like, move and aim, and, like, kind of, like, dodge and stuff. Maybe it's because I'm playing on the original Xbox, I don't know, but it kind of, um, like, all these small corridors. You know, usual Doom maps, they're kind of wide open, and you can, like, get some quite, usually, I mean, there is corridors in the game, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh, bugger. There's another one, isn't there? No. Yeah, yeah, I thought this much. Go away, you sod. I'm getting wise to where that how they how they're doing enemy placement now. Med kit. Didn't really need that, but thank you. Is that something there? No. Alright. Go away. Um uh, Yeah, nymph nearby. I heard him I think I heard him drop. Oh no, never mind. Ah, oh, this is where they were, wouldn't it? Cool ended. Okay. No idea what that thing is. I'm sure that guy got out the BFG. Oh, I knew there was a nip nearby. Ugh. Okay, right. I hope they don't bring nightmare imps in. That would be a nightmare. There's there's a zombie nearby. I can hear him breathing. Yeah. Ah, oh, bloody. It. They really like do love poke. Oh, grenades! Um, they really do like poking their like he like heads around the corners and shooting you. How do I get? What's this here then? What are those? Can't open them. Okay. Take my time here. Hello. Is there Darth Vader in the room or something? Oh, hello. Is that someone... Are you dead? No, he's dead. Hold on. Did it. What a brilliant waste of ammo there, though. Okay. Is that a door? I'm not sure. Now, oh, we can go in here. UAC, what's this? Um, security arrived. We'll use that then, shall we? What the bloody hell is that thing? Oh no. Oh, I didn't want to pick up that medkit, did I? Wait for it. That's why they gave me... Oh, here he's going to smash for the glass, isn't he? Oh, right. Okay, I thought that was going to be more... Um. Well then, I thought... That oh dear. I literally thought that was going to be like... A, a tricky fight to happen. Like, it's going to take a few, few like quite a few shotgun rounds, like a, like, like a mid-boss. What were those things, then? Were they supposed to be the demons? I actually don't know. I don't know. It kind of feels like they're doing some different designs on the enemies, you see, so I think that might be the demons. Usually, they introduce that, don't they? they it was like the imps. Zombies, imps, and then demons. That's usually how they introduce the enemies. And it's absolutely raining again. It's fantastic. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm really surprised about this game. I, you know what? I know I picked Resident Evil 4 when I, so I picked the Nintendo GameCube because obviously back in the day they were expensive, and um, you know I saved up a lot of my uh, pocket money, as they call it. Uh, actually, yeah, I saved up my money for my paper round. Oh goodness me! Oh my, they're quite nippy little buggers, aren't they? Oh for Pete's sake! Go away. Um, so I was saving up all my money from my paper round when I was a kid, and I bought an I bought a Nintendo GameCube because I really wanted to play Resident Evil 4, and I got on my purchase. But I think if I did, 
went back in the... I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything here. I think if I did went back in the day and decided to play by Doom 3, I think I would have been very happy with that choice. I think either one I did, would have, I would have resulted in having... Something. Oh, bloody hell. They're really, they're really liking doing that, aren't they? Like, bloody putting surprises behind you and next to you and... I, I think, I guess it's like their way of w how enemies used to warp in, if you know what I mean. Like from the original game, like they would teleport in if you go past like a, like a trigger zone. What's that there? No idea. It says, it says we're offline though. Some health pack. Axiom. Was that Axiom or something? No, Mexiom. Mixiom. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I would have been perfectly happy with this if I chose this over Resident Evil 4. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, what was the point of this room here? Why is he just- why was he waiting in there? What was he doing? Looking at pipes for his work or something? Grab those armor clips, there we go. Armor shards, should I say. Um... Poke my head around the corner. Oh, this is where the the, um, the the big dog monster came from. Some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. Oh dear. What made that noise? It's just weird, like taking your time getting through a Doom game, like poking your head around every corner. There's something behind me. Like, how did that imp get in there? Like, how did he get in here? Just don't get that. What's the point of this door thing? That's weird. I think I'd believe it more if they just teleported in from hell or something. It isn't working. I tried everything. The computers aren't responding. I can't get oh. access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. Alright, let's go. And I've got PDA here. Paul Simons, or Simmons. Right then. Oh, that rain. That rain is epic right now. So we... we did I read Duncan Matthews? Yes, I did. Okay, so we got uh, Paul Simmons, or Simons. Uh, oh, the Alden logo. A network, sir. Bre no, network breach. Mr. Simmons, we have been unable to find any problems with the network test that we ran on your system. Everything checks out on our end. Your firewall seems to be functioning properly. Other IT managers have reported similar intrusions in their networks. Whoever, whoever, who, whomever is doing this must be good or someone with very high level security clearance. We will continue to scan the network and if anything odd appears, we will inform you immediately. Central IC, IT security. Email spam. The email spam lately is getting out of control. The worst company is that Martian buddy place. I can't believe it's all the things they send. I can't believe all the things they send to me. I don't know how they got my email address. Can't you do anything to stop the spam? I spent all morning deleting junk from my e in my inbox. Thank you, Russ. This is Paul yeah. Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta company. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside that has to be responsible. The bloody hell is this? Security in that no. <laughs> I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. Okay, well, hell's there. There's like a... Someone's having a, uh... A, 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 a demonic ritual there of some sort. Bear with me, just make sure I haven't missed anything. Nope. Alright. What the hell? This is weird. Right. William Banks, hello. Okay. Never one there. Uh. Whew. Wow. This is just amazing. What's up there then? I can't get up there. 
It reminds me of the uh, the movie Aliens too, slightly. That's that's amazing. Oh, you can hear, you can hear, ah, now they're warping in. Now this is fantastic. Now this is slightly making more sense to me. You know, it kind of feels like, you know, like one of those, like, horror Halloween kind of, like, ghost trains used to go on. William Banks' office. Hello. Did he, did, did, did an imp up there eat that guy? Bless him. Uh... Is there actually anything here to do? Like, just, just shells to pick up. Okay. Uh, William Banks, Director of Operations. Right, let's read that all. Let's go that audio log. That PDA stuff. Sorry, not audio log. That PDA. William Banks. Here we go. Oh, there's two audio logs. Bloody hell. Religious artifacts. Director Banks, I need your urgent attention on this matter. It's very important to my research that all crates containing religious artifacts arriving from Earth with a cosine, of de co with co a cosine for Delta Labs go directly there with no interrupt nor delay. I cannot have my precious cargo sitting around the hangar waiting for your personnel to act process it. I expect your immediate attention on this matter, Dr. Malcolm Batu Bat Batruger. Oh, it's that guy, isn't it? The evil guy, Malcolm Batruger. Miss in person. Director Banks, research assistant Eric Raphael has not reported to, for work this all this week. I called his quarters repeatedly without response. No one has seen him in days and I don't know what to do. He is normally a very reliable individual. I have contacted Mars Security with the hope that they try and find him. There is not there is a not there aren't a lot of areas to go to go on the space man. I hope he's alright. I hear, if I hear anything, I'll send word. Thank you. Uh, Matthew White. Uh, new website. Director Banks, we are happy to report the rollout of the new corporate webpage. Please take a moment to, of your time to review it. Thank you, UACorp.com web team. But if you go on that website, there's actually something there, maybe, right? Let's this listen to these audio the logs. Audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. All right, okay, mm, that's not good, is it? Missing, missing people and all that. Is that an enemy down there? Oh, I can't tell. Blimey! All right, it's another audio log to listen to. Let's listen to that then, while I get nervous going down these corridors. William Banks. Here we go. Uh, energy difference. This is the audio log of Director William Banks. Dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to non-power. explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority. Right then. Oh, blimey. Okay. That's the, oh, that's where the, uh, that weird... Th can you know... What, I just want to say, do you notice that like, you can see the pentagram there? That's a nice little touch, that. This is... This is brilliant. Right, so we want to go back on ourselves, I assume? Just keeping my, just keeping a, a lookout for monsters and well, demons, should I say, really? I am so pleasantly surprised with this game. Let me tell you. I, I mean, this honestly looks like an Xbox 360 game. I honest, like a, an early one, you know, like when it first came out. The graphics are fantastic. Am I supposed to be going back this way? Ah, here we go. This is where. Is this where I'm supposed to be? No, maybe not. 
I actually don't know where I'm going. Alpha Labs, that's it. Here we go. That's where I'm going. Oh, hello. There it goes. That thing was in the way of the door, bless it. Right, I'm getting a bit low on the machine gun ammo. No, I'm not. I tell you, I've got 160. What am I talking about? Oh, bloody hell. Ah! What's shooting at me? That guy, okay. It's like, I think the I think the main problem with this is like, like I mean, compared to like, say, the other Doom games, is that it's like one set piece after the other. Like, you go in a room, the lights turn off, there's monsters, or the doors will open. I think that is, to me, kind of the, um, maybe why it, people don't like it. I quite, I quite enjoy it, but I think it's more and more slightly getting more predictable now. Like, not a bad thing. Um, but I do think, um, they, hopefully they, they might switch things up a little bit. Uh, press exit, uh... Press to exit administration. Here we go. So this that will be part three, actually, because we'll be going to Alpha Labs now, won't we? Alpha Lab, Sector 1 East, Union Aerospace Corporate Division. Here we go. So that's going to be definitely going to be part three. Shorter part than the other two. Um, but uh, quite jam-packed, actually. i got to say, I'm so... I just... This is pretty good. That poor Xbox is so struggling right now. I really hope it... Oh! I've received a... I'll, um, I won't listen to that just yet. We'll wait until the uh, next part to listen to that. So there we go. That has been uh, part three of my let's uh, blind let's play of Doom 3. Um, so the next part will be going around Alpha Labs. And no doubt I'll be getting more a little bit more scared. Now I'm, now, now I'm getting more, um, more into this. Um, that's kind of weird. Why is it saying... That's the date, right? That is the 25th of July. Why is it saying 2091? <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not that year. Oh, well, never mind. Well then, um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. This is getting, this is getting, I think it's getting into its stride now. It's definitely getting into its stride, this game. It's, it's um, I'm kind of looking forward to more scenery. So I'm hoping, like, maybe we'll get to see more of Mars and, um more of a uh, maybe hell might start creeping in and more stuff like that that ritual section if you get me but um yeah overall i mean i'm highly enjoying this i hope you've I hope you've enjoyed this episode and we'll continue watching the next um join back for part four we'll be going through alpha labs uh, take care of a lovely day stay safe out there and um bye for now Ooh, creepy <laughs>